Hold it. Well, Dan, let's put it in perspective where we are. This is Mechanic Street right here, and this is Chan Street. You can see some of the investigators standing by there. To put it in perspective for you, this is right near the VFW on Ramsey Street. Folks in Fayetteville will know where that is. And the CVS we're talking about is right down the street on Ramsey Street. Let me show you some video of that uh, crime scene, because that's where it originated. Uh, it's at the corner of Ram Street, Ramsey and Grove Street. Investigators say, as you mentioned, the suspect entered the building with a weapon demanding money. Now, he made off with an undisclosed amount of cash, but the CVS employee was able to drop a GPS um, tracker into that money bag. The police were able to track the suspect to this location where I am right now, near the railroad tracks uh, the, at the intersection here at Chan Street. And while we don't know how many shots were fired, you can see more than a d dozen or a half dozen uh, evidence markers on the ground. And this is where Fayetteville police officers encountered the uh, suspect and shots were fired. Now, I talked to a woman who lives not too far from here, and she heard those shots ring out. Th this morning was headed out, and police, the one police car pulled up real quick, and I thought it was something happened to our neighbor. And as the police was pulling up, we heard pop, pop, and I guess somebody got shot. And this has been the rest of the day. Photojournalist Michael Jordan is zooming in now on those evidence markers right there. They're right near the railroad tracks, and that's significant because that's the CSX uh, freight line that goes through there. And we're told that there are at least five freight trains in both directions right now, Dan, that have been backed up waiting for the SBI to clear this area. So that's going to probably be some time before that happens. As far as the suspect is concerned, we're told he went to the uh, Cape Fear Valley Medical Center with some serious injuries. The officer involved, he's on administrative duty pending the outcome of the SBI investigation. All right, Gilbert Bays, live force in Fayetteville. Gilbert, thank you. A Michigan jury has found Jennifer Crumley guilty on four.